Hey Max, he's going to start with the basic geometric shape. All of our characters do. And he starts with a circle. Though as you pick up those yeah. pencils, you notice that something's missing on the end to the eraser. That's because what we're doing is called a rough sketch. So you want to keep your lines like loose. And the stuff that we want to keep, we'll go back and lock those lines in. That way, all those other lines are going to fade away into the background. So what a rough sketch is all about is getting your ideas on that sheet of paper. And usually here at the Animation Academy, we draw a character's portrait, meaning just their face. If you drew Baymax's face, we'd be done in like 10 seconds. So we're going to be drawing in his whole entire body. So if you want, you're more than welcome to turn the board sideways, so you got that full length of your paper space that way too. But that was totally optional there for you as well. I'm going to start uh, with his tummy and work my way up. So I'm going to sketch out a circle. I'd say about the size of a tennis ball, baseball is a good size. Uh, when you're sketching out your circle, make sure you're using that whole entire arm when you draw and not just the wrist. If you're just using your wrist, it's more like writing uh, than it is drawing. And Big Max's body shape is kind of like a pear shape here for it. So we're going to add in two circles on top of each other. Uh, so I'm going to draw in my first circle a little bit down uh, below the top here of my paper, making sure that I save enough room uh, for that small head of his. So I'm just very lightly sketching out my circle here on the page. Notice I'm creating lots and lots of lines in here. That's really what we look for for foundation. If you don't like one side, you can always round it out until you got it to the way that you like it. All of these extra lines are helping me to create in this one shape. I'm just blending them together so it looks like something that I can work with. I'll also add in a construction line to really help to anchor uh, the rest of his body here for him. Very lightly sketching out a straight line going right down the middle. I'm even stretching it way past the bottom here of my circle as well. To help me to create in uh, the rest of his body as well as his legs. Underneath uh, my first circle, I'm going to add in a much larger circle here for him. So I get this like number eight sitting here on the page or uh, that pair that I was talking about. Or you can also think of it as you're building out a snowman too. Though not like that other snowman uh, from that other Disney movie. So it's very lightly sketching out another circle. You can also think of it as like a BB-8 sitting here on your page too. Yeah, definitely. We can also lightly sketch out his head up here at the very top of our circle here for him as well. And his head's like a small little oval shape sitting here on the side. Uh, so this way we have just our, really our basic foundation here uh, for our healthcare provider. I can also lightly sketch out the bottoms here of his legs as well, which look like marshmallow feet. So I'm gonna hop over here on either side of my large circle, and I'll draw in these parentheses curves or these stretched out letter C shapes. So stretching these out here on either side here for him. And I'm gonna also uh, connect it here back in towards the middle as well by drawing in a stretched out letter U shape. Just curving that right back in towards my construction line here on either side. And because Baymax uh, has got these like small legs there for him as well. But I also want to uh, create in uh, the roundness here of his body too, where our two circles here are meeting. So I'm going to go back and blend my two circles together by starting here on the side of my smaller circle and I'll blend that right over towards the side of my larger circle. But now at this point, I can start to go back and really pick out my favorite lines to lock his body shape here into place here for him as well. And you can have, definitely minimize like how much air that he's got there for him too, because uh, that happens uh, throughout the movie uh, where he starts to get a little bit skinnier because they jumped out of a window. So you can definitely minimize how much like air that he's got left here in his body as well. But I'm just going back and really starting to pick out my favorite lines here along the sides. 
Uh, there's actually a few things uh, that the Disney animators uh, looked at when they were creating uh, this character of Baymax. Uh, one thing that they looked at was uh, like of a little teddy bear who lives in the Hundred Acre Woods. Because they wanted something that was very soft and very huggable as well. So they thought of like Winnie the Pooh uh, for Baymax's uh, design. They're really inspired by Baymax's design um, of Winnie the Pooh. And also, as I'm going to lock in uh, the rest of his legs uh, down here along the bottom as well. Uh, even uh, for Baymax's walk, they looked at things uh, such as the way that baby penguins walk as well. Because so baby penguins like walk with a little waddle. Uh, they also looked at the way that toddlers uh, with fuller diapers uh, walk as well. Uh, so they were really inspired uh, by a few things uh, to create a uh, Baymax's walk. Uh, not only that, they even looked at the way that rice cookers look too. Rice cookers are very simple on the outside, but a little bit more complicated on the inside with all those mechanics going on. Just very much like Baymax, because there's not like a whole lot going on on the outside. All those mechanics going on that Tadashi uh, creates there for him. I'll create in his long arms, and for his arms, I'm going to hop here uh, towards the bottom here of my circle, and I'll lightly sketch out a straight line, so I know where his arms are going to land here on either side. I'll hop over here uh, towards the side here of his head, and I'll sketch out these stretched out letter C shapes, I'm going to stretch it right back down in towards my construction line here on either side here for him. Now I look at Baymax's uh, silhouette here at this point, and I see another character who also lives in the Hundred Acre Woods. Uh, but this yeah. guy lives more on the gloomier side of life. Yeah. Somebody know what I'm, like who I might be talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah you got like Eeyore in there too, like Eeyore with ginormous butt teeth and a little bit of uh, but I'll uh, lightly sketch out a little U-shape that curves right back here uh, towards the side here of his body for the rest here of his arms. I will add in his fingers here for him as well. Uh, for his fingers, with him looking straight ahead, we'll only be able to see really his thumb and his index finger. Uh, for his thumb here on the inside, I'll draw in a small little tic-tac here for him. And coming right here from that long arm, I'll draw in this like a uh, curvy, like uh, a Cheeto puff, like sticking out over here along the sides. He's got like a uh, fat little, like little fingers there for him. And so I'm drawing in just like a U shaped, just curving it here on the outside for him. I'll connect his two fingers here together uh, by drawing in a letter U curve. You can also add indication uh, for his other fingers peeking out here along the sides by drawing in some smaller letter J shapes so sitting right behind their form. I'll do the same thing over here on the right hand side as well. So drawing in that little tic tac here uh, for a thumb and coming right here uh, from his arm, drawing in this letter J shape, curving it here on the outside. Um, this movie also has got quite a few uh, hidden Easter eggs uh, in this film here as well. Uh, but I'll start to go back and lock in his arms. Like uh, the snowman uh, from Frozen also appears in this movie too, uh, hidden in the background. Uh, not only that, uh, besides Olaf, uh, like there's also uh, Mochi even dresses up as one of the Disney characters as well. He dresses up as a little blue alien for Halloween. And you actually uh, see like uh, that in uh, the background. Uh, where BMAX starts to go up uh, the stairs. Uh, does anybody know who I might be talking about that Mochi dresses up as? Mm. The little cat? Yeah, he dresses up as Stitch as well, 626. Uh, we'll start to go back and really pick out our favorite lines, really lock his head shape here into place here as well. Uh, Baymax has also got some patches on the sides here of his elbows as well. So I'm going to draw in those patches by drawing in some stretched out letter C's here along his elbows. He's also got some here along his waist as well. 
and to give him that slimming look by drawing in some more stretched out letter C's over here along the sides. As well as he's got some down here on his legs here too. So I'll add in some more of those patches there for him. Uh, he's also battery powered by the bottoms here of his feet here for him as well. So I'll add in a couple of diagonal lines here on either side. And I'll connect it up here along the top by drawing in a staple here for him, up at the top there for him. And for all that programming that Tadashi and Hiro create, he's got that little programming or that little port that opens up on the right hand side. Underneath his head on the right hand side, I'll sketch out a small little circle. And the little symbol on the inside is to really represent like a heart monitor here for him. So I'll draw in a short little straight line um, and add in a little diagonal line and a little straight line uh, with a little diagonal line and a little straight line there for him. So that's just that little symbol there on the inside for him too. And uh, with his design, a uh, very simple, his eyes are just like small little baby circles on either side uh, with the line going right here in the middle. So I'll add in some small little circles or little ovals here on either side and I'll connect it here in the middle of their forum as well. Uh, the animators actually looked at a Japanese, like a Suzu bell, to really get a design uh, for his eyes there, for him, really keeping him on the simplistic side there as well. At this point, you can start to go back and lock in, darken up uh, really any of the lines that have started to fade away throughout our drawing process. Maybe B Max is playing the part because so you can give him some fun accessories there for him as well. Uh, really, the last step an artist needs to make, though, is a signature. And you can sign your name wherever you feel it fits best. And after all done, you have sketched out your very own healthcare provider named Big Max. All right, so how did we all do? Uh, pretty good, not too bad. Did we have fun? Good, that's the most important part about John, he's having fun with this anyway. Well, I want to see each and every one of your sketches before you go. 